Do you know what? That's a good question. I'm going to answer it with another question, which is, have you always been creative? Oh, for sure, man. One of the most creative people around. But I'm very interested in how to fix computers. <laughs> I really want to know, because I would consider myself. I, I tell you what, I'll answer your question by asking another, but by including a fact about myself. I feel very uh, competent when it comes to IT skills. Yeah, I feel like I could fix almost uh, anything on a Windows computer. But when it comes to MacBooks, which they have provided me with here at The Athletic, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And it makes me feel on a daily basis like I'm smaller than when I'm with a Windows computer. I feel like I'm large with a Windows computer. How do you feel around computers? Uh, you, you get more comfortable around computers when you realize they're not machines. In the sense that um, a, me a, mecha a mechanical engine, once it's got a fault, it keeps the fault. There's nothing you can do unless you replace a component or you, um, you make a repair. With PCs, they're a lot like people in the sense that they can develop a habit or you know a bad sequence of network uh, network connections or, or processes that lead to it crashing or lead to it sometimes a good clean out or a good restart will then reset everything and it'll work just fine but people get it in their head that when something develops a fault it, it's baby out with the bathwater time so once you get your, your head around the concept that it's not it's not a mechanical device it's not something where something is broken somewhere and it therefore needs to be it could just be sometimes that it's got the 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 the, the um the electronic equivalent of hiccups like it's, well, there's something you know. fun though isn't there about uh, discarding a computer i mean like i don't haven't actually ever i was thinking about this the other day because i move house i've moved house loads over the last 10 years and i keep moving my old laptops because i've never i've never thrown them away i don't know what you're supposed to do so i've got about maybe four it's not a bad run rate for 12 years four laptops that's pretty uh, good yeah but um i've still got them all but there's something nice about consigning one sentimental too but nice about consigning one to the sort of pile with the others to the graveyard of technology and getting a new one even even if that is baby in the bathwater there's a sort of psychological thing is, isn't there oh 100 percent. well you should you should upgrade your equipment on a in regular many basis ways, you guys well, have that means that in you, as your job is telling people that they can't have that like psychological moment of joy where they get a new computer you fix the one that they were ready to part ways with and uh, then they have to stay with it and it's sort of um that's it. You're kind of like a harbinger of uh, of unpleasantness. When did I become a villain in this story? What the hell's going on? So is this what now. everyone has to deal with each week? They come, they come with their prep. Right, like, okay, Joe, I've got this fantastic breakdown of this game. There's a really good piece of insight that I've managed to discern. It's a real quick mood. That's great and everything. But I was watching. Uh, something on Netflix that everyone else appears to be watching. So let's talk about that. I think that's I think that's true. And I would say one of my best skills, Lorne, is being very bored by things uh, because I feel <laughs> you like you made a video people... series out of it. <laughs> people are bored. People these days they get bored easily, don't they? So if I'm bored when someone's talking, I feel like a good proportion of the audience is bored. So we should move on.